Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Warno. This is a 1v1 just versus hard AI. I believe the enemy is the Territorial Commando, and then we are playing as the 39th Guards as opposed to the 27th Guards. Uh, this was a couple battles later than the early, uh, the, the first battle that I did with Sir Jellybean versus Medium AI. So I'd fought a couple Medium AIs by now, and then we changed it up to um to, to face hard and then you know we go up to very hard after a while and then we'll see about going further after that i still have to learn the different decks but you can see um trying to get four deploys out looks like the ai um they'll probably take out my sapieri over here we'll see uh, i did have a mi-24 recon air uh, helicopter and it's doing a good job i don't see an enemy aircraft i preemptively brought my aircraft out to protect my mig but uh at this point i was still not great with aircraft i moved it too far out and then here comes a mirage which will probably take out my mi-24 and i think this thing's already evacuating maybe not but probably going to lose the MI-24, or maybe not... Oh, okay. Our SU-27 uh, did a great job there. Is it a 27S or a 275? I can't really tell with the font. I'll look that up. Um, I'll try to become a little bit more knowledgeable about the different units over here. Um, well, the Sapieri did fairly well the BTR-60, but... They are going to get overwhelmed in the center here, especially with these M48s coming up behind. Those old, those old Clara infantry. Very light tank though, but you can see I've got BMPs going into the forest and they're getting great shots on those M48s. Absolutely fantastic shots. One miss though, but you can see three BMP1s. That's pretty devastating for tanks out in the open. Hopefully we can get some more kills there. So uh, let me know what you guys think about doing the replays. We'll we'll try to do some more, or we'll, we'll get some multiplayer out on the channel too, but just wanted to show off any of the battles where you can at least see where I'm learning or just battles that I think are fun. And then eventually we'll go into the Operations Army General. I do have a 10v10 battle, multiplayer battle that I'm going to show off. That was a rather strange use i think they they thought there was an opening down the center so the ai was like this push the center but we've got a conquerors in this building with great line of sight and then we've got all these bmp ones over here we've got an igla to protect them igla over here command bmp going into cap over there i don't think we have any command on this side of the battlefield though um that's something i'm still learning is how much command to bring at the beginning i've been watching you know, uh, Saucy's videos, SD League, and then Vulcan, of course, trying to make myself a better player, and I think it's SD League or Saucy with their tutorials. Great Igla shot. Very good shot by the Igla over there. Um, but I've been watching their stuff, trying to figure out, yeah, Igla's just destroyed a UH-10, uh, so really good there. And then we're bringing up an uh, anti-aircraft MiG. But I think it's Saucy and SD League. I think they've got some really great tutorials on this game. And especially on deck building. Deck building, definitely realizing like how important it is to build your deck. How to deploy your units at the start. How to not over overstretch yourself on a map. But also, you want to take those points. Like here, I'm, I'm losing. Not losing, but... Wasting tons of extra points because I have this zone and I have this zone. Uh, you can see that the NATO side just not even trying over here at the moment. Which is good because I don't have anything to hold it. This Conquer is actually in a really good position seeing as I've given up the center. This center is... Okay, you can see I'm bringing up some uh, Sapieri... To try and take the center because it doesn't seem like the enemy really has anything in the center this center position i feel i feel like if you can take it it's really strong but you can also overextend yourself by taking it and 
really get smacked because the blue side, they can take this position, take this tree line to hit the center. They can take all of these trees, all of these buildings, hit the center. And then they can come down this road and hit over here. This tree line kind of protects the center, but not really well. And then th over here, once again, same same thing, like kind of protects the center, but not really well. So I feel like if you can take the center and defend it well, it's a great position to take. But I've, I've definitely been learning for how I play in my micro, which is not up to par, that this center position can be pretty bad. These Fliegerfausts getting shots off on my uh, MI-24, and I don't think I realize that it's being shot at, so I probably lose this MI-24. Luckily, they've missed twice, but there's a third hit there, and I am completely oblivious to this, so that's, uh, I need to make better use of, um, well, I don't think there's any warnings. Yes, that was a shame. Lost that MI-24 just because I really wasn't paying attention. So MI-24 should have probably been back over here. And then our Sapieri are just getting... They're, they're going to die. This was a bad push on my part. Um, just basically infantry unsupported out in the open with... I mean, just like BMP-1s, but they're... They're taking care of M48s on this side, which the BMP-1s are doing a great job. Looks like I lost one, though. Yeah, BMP-1 destroyed. Um, so the Sapieri unfortunately stalled. I needed to unload them because of this Milan over here was shooting fish in a barrel. So we've got... Uh, we've secured this area very well. Really, this recon should have probably moved up to this building by, by this point because nothing was coming down here and um getting line of sight on that building would have really helped and then just move like a single unit of infantry plus a stinger over here that would have probably been enough maybe even like a, a bmp1 in the trees right over here would be really good you can see the ai is trying to sneak a vehicle through so we'll see what happens there the middle I don't get this move by the AI of moving a Milan that far forward. Um, this is what I said about the, the AI in Warno. It's very good, but it, it's also like the medium AI kind of just blobs up and zergs. The hard AI does a little bit better, but it also still pushes like a single M48 push isn't really good enough. Um, but I've only got BMP1s over here so maybe it'll do well enough i don't know mi24 moving up uh just out of range of those fleeger fouls that's good uh another bmp1 down over there and then i think this conquers yeah it's out of ammo so i really need the really need logistics and see i do have logistics over here we are sending a Conquerors over here, uh, which is just in time, because there is an M48 moving out. I don't think the M48 has line of sight, though, which is good, because that Conquerors could have been destroyed. And then they've got a supply helicopter, a little strange, but lots of Fliegerfausts in the center. Sounds like I have... I must have spotted this M48, and I am going to destroy it, which... Good move because there is no AA over here, uh, so very... I'm actually kind of impressed by uh, my reaction timing there, getting the LGB-1 out with a very, very safe run. I didn't think there would be any anti-aircraft over there, and I was rewarded. Uh, even if there was like a Fliegerfaust or something, it, that wouldn't have been too bad. I guess I spotted the helicopter. It must not have landed in time, so I did a gun run on it. But... Here comes a Mirage, so we need to get out of here, and I don't think I realize the Mirage is there, and yeah, unfortunately we lose that. So a little poor timing on my end, and actually pretty poor timing, because my AA is... I should have brought these guys out with the LGB-1, um, so it should have gone out and it should have had fighter support, and it probably would have lived. So you can see another M48 order. I don't understand these orders. These are super aggressive. 
what the AI should probably do is get to this town and then push out from the town as opposed to pushing beyond. Uh, I really need ammo for that Conkers though. That is something that desperately, desperately needed there. So nice kill on some A assets there. You can see I've just got really nice line of sight going down that road. Uh, there's an M48 flanking us, which is interesting, but I don't think it's going to do anything important. Brought out some artillery. And I think I've got it set to fire at will. And my anti-aircraft Su-27 is just sort of putzing about waiting for the enemy. And right now it's just sort of a scale me. I'm still not at the point where I'm very aggressive with my troops. But I, I will eventually learn <laughs> how to how to do pushes effectively. Uh, you'll see in this battle, I think at the end I do an ineffective push and get a crap ton of troops killed. But really what I should be doing now is probably creating a push up the center. Because the enemy is not doing anything, I should also probably secure this tree line would be better. Bringing a munitions truck up to refill this seems like a waste of points over there you can see the enemy lots lots of AA assets lots of m48s i'm not super familiar with the territorial commando deck at the moment oh there we go i can click that yeah territorial commando and then 39th motostrelki over here looks like we're doing pretty well i've got these helicopters just sort of sitting behind my lines which i think is great this helicopter great line of sight to this road so this m48 push just getting absolutely crushed just nice explosion there i mean they're getting flank shots from bmp ones they're getting hit by uh helicopters in the back they're pushing up with a singular infantry which should in theory dug an infantry we really need another infantry over here though to properly take it out and preferably like a btr 60 back over here or maybe in the trees right here would be good those uh fliegerfaust however they are just in range of our helicopters and i don't think i've realized it once again which is bad i need to pay more attention so we're probably going to lose this Kilo. I think I just might have pulled them out in time. Yep, just barely. So now we're bringing up some tanks. Probably a little late for me using tanks, uh, but that that's something that I'm trying to learn is when to when to bring tank assets onto the game into the game. When to bring more ATGMs up. Once again, this conquerors has been useless for most of the fight because it ran out. This Mirage, probably going for my Helos, which just barely saved it with the SU-27s. Just barely. Holy cow. Actually, I think I did lose... I think there is a Helo down. Because I thought I had three of them. So that probably was lost somewhere. But this T-80, great firing position. Really need a second T-80 uh, to help it out. That would be great. And we need, uh, we, we should have started to build up a push for this fling. Enemy just super, I, I should have realized with how many M48s I had killed and how many air assets I had killed that they're probably a little weak on points. And I should have noticed that they are using M48s because the T-80 vastly superior than M48. I mean, T-80 superior to an M60. And an M48 just not even remotely close. Very, very cool looking vehicle though. Um, I love, love how this game looks when you actually zoom in. Uh, at the, like, top down view, it looks, it looks good. Not great, uh, but the unit cards are okay. Um, but once you actually zoom in on the units they're just absolutely absolutely gorgeous love love how they look um these artillery pieces are some of my favorite 
units to use the what was it Akatsia? I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, but a very very powerful unit. I love that they're self-propelled. I'm not quite sure what they're shooting at. What they saw over there. But lots of targets coming up in the middle over here. Once again, this flank, nothing really. Uh, we do have a BTR-60 over there, but I mean we're holding that with just you know peanuts. Repairing our kilos, so it's K to land your helicopter, and that's how you get them to resupply and fix up. Then I believe it's Control K to change their altitude. I'm not very good at changing altitude yet. Um, I need to probably remap that. I don't like Control K. Uh, I'm a, I'm very much a, a WASD person when it comes to moving the minimap around, so I probably should remap something. I don't think I use E very much in this game, so I need to remap something to E. Q is obviously sort of like your attack order. They call it uh, hunt in this game, but uh, we are being shot at by M201A1. Switch. Well, that's the name of the gun. The uh, the actual thing is what like an M M110 A2. American <laughs> American naming of vehicles weapons is absolutely hilarious because everything is like a Mark One. I, I mean, you could have a Mark One tank and a Mark One food ration or something like that. It's it's pretty funny. I think I've realized now that there's not much in this town, so a good time to push infantry into the town. Um, did I put... is that the AI's smoke? I think the AI smoked, which is actually beneficial to me because my infantry are able to move up through the smoke. Now what needs to happen is its infantry needs to move over into these things. I'm not sure what my AA aircraft is doing, but thankfully it did not take a hit. So that's a MiG-23 moving up. Here's a Milan vehicle. Man, if I had these trees secured, this would be fantastic. But this MiG is kind of wasting. It should have been patrolling back here, like this MiG. And this MiG, if I could see that Milan, that is a juicy target because it has nothing to protect it. But it looks like we're finally moving out inventory. We really need a Conker's. Uh, conquerors in that building would be fantastic or over here really need logistics really need iglas um this sturm is a little far out but if this sturm was over here with the bmp1s that would be great i believe the bmp1s are all depleted so this is you can see learning here um this is an early game by me not utilizing logistics properly you really need your logistics uh, get the fuel on your t80 well, we've got logistics over here, which is good, but this truck over here needs to move over here with the BMP-1s because they're essentially ineffective right now. This truck here probably can be sell sold uh, 57, so it just needs to move over here, then be sold. The these Sturms, Conkers, they need to move up because I have recon in this forest over here, so I know we are good. If we could move those guys up over here or into these trees, that would be perfect even move that recon that would be great this is where um laying down some smoke would be perfect if we could smoke barrage in front of this we could probably make a push our helos not doing great infantry in the middle not doing the best mainly because they're not supported so i can't do anything about these m48s because these bmps oh we do have logistics over here so i did move it over there um but they only had 57 left so it needs to be sold and this logistics truck needs to come over fix them up uh good use of the mis but they're probably just in range of the flieger file so yeah they go down unfortunately i moved them just a little too far forward needed to keep them probably about here could have also lowered their altitude that might have helped too because i think they would have had line of sight uh m48 coming across we need so bmp1 in good position but we need like a conquerors over here or bmp ones in the trees over here unfortunately because i haven't secured this tree line sort of letting the enemy build up over here too and i'm pretty sure at this point i am sitting on 
tons of resources. That's one of the problems is like doing the micro plus the macro at the same time. This aircraft is probably going to die. Oh, just got out of there in time. That was that was really good. Uh, these helos, I think I realized they're getting blasted. See, we have we have this logistics truck here doing absolutely nothing. If it was up here helping out the infantry, or God forbid, we actually reload this conquers, that would be amazing. So, you know, just paying attention to where you need ammunition. I don't think I fully understand. Oh, it's got. I believe that thing there means it's out of ammo. I think. Not entirely sure. If anybody who plays the game regularly knows how to easily identify if units are out of ammunition, I know when they're flashing like this, they're stealth or unseen. Uh, these guys are getting absolutely destroyed. Some Schutzen. I don't know how you pronounce it in German. Is it Heimatschutzen? I know a little German ich sprechen just in Deutsch, but that's uh, that's about it. I know how to ask how much is the beer, where's the bar, those kind of things, you know, the important things in life. So enemy once again suiciding their M48s down the middle. We finally can punish them with BMP1s and conquers, so absolutely devastating crossfire. Infantry in the middle, you know, they'll hold out. Not not well, uh, but looks like we are doing pretty well. Got some T-80s, got the command T-80 up too. So as long as we keep them safe, uh, we did move up some infantry into these buildings here, which is good because we should have better eyes on this side. And then uh, just repairing up our helicopters once again. They need to land, which finally landed. And you can see once they land... They replenish their ammunition very fast, but they're pretty beat up and they need fuel, so they need a little bit more than average repairs. Over here, so what is cohesion mediocre? So it's probably been taking some counter battery fire. So I, I really haven't been good at moving these guys, which is bad. Moving up T80s in pairs is really good. In threes is better if I could move those T80s up over here with this uh, T-80 BVK, that would be better. We do have logistics over here, which is good because it is keeping these BMPs, well, it's just out of range of that BMP-1, but it's keeping their ATGMs loaded. This Gazelle is su- yeah. <laughs> very, very bad use. That's almost as bad as I am with my helos. Looks like they did uh, spot this helo back here. I didn't really see what got it. Good shot by the MiG-27. I really, really like that aircraft. Um, does a great job. Hopefully this Conqueror has ammunition. It only has one APGM, so that is bad. We really need logistics over here. Hopefully this guy can... Nope, he doesn't have any bombs left. Oh, but... That singular ATGM took out the M48, so we were a little lucky there. This... This MiG-27 needs to evac because... Or just hover around here and be an air-to-air -air asset. But you can see the AI amassing a fair amount of troops. Nothing spectacular though, it's mostly infantry. I don't know how many M48s were destroyed in this battle, but it was a lot. Oh, and I did move these T-80s into a good position. Really this... BVK needs to be where he is, but he's in the tree, so probably a good spot because he is the leader. Uh, but we do need logistics moved up with them. Finally, uh, 1800 years later, we have reloaded that Conkers, but now we need to move that Conkers up into a better position. Um, these are This is just bad use of aircraft because I have uh, Strella's... I have Iglas, I have all sorts of anti-aircraft assets on the battlefield. Very good use of an MI-24 over here. Well, it's the wrong MI-24, but that's fine. It still has um, air-to-ground rockets. Really need another MI-24. Looks like 
They are counter-battering. I'm assuming that is a M M110 counter-battering my artillery over here. Really should probably put these guys on counter-battery. You can see I finally moved them. They're probably uh, taking a good chunk of damage. This logistics needs to move up just a tad. I brought up some grads. I think because I was going to do a push. As you can see, th this is clearly like beginner mode uh, Quicksilver because I'm super passive. Oh, and we've lost everything over here, which is not good. I wonder, I wonder where these are going if they're moving up into this tree line. But super, super passive on my part. Uh, we could have punished the AI. We could have, you know, ended this battle really early just by pushing into this zone, taking this tree line here, and then eventually taking these trees, moving up through these trees, and we could have really, really done a number on the enemy. Because I think if you can get these trees and over here, this is all open ground. You've got like these these buildings and this tree line here and these trees but if you actually want to move down the road this is all open you can see you can see pretty far pretty far and at this point my mig 27 is not taking any anti-aircraft gunfire on this side and i hope that i understand that because i could drastically i mean not drastically i could i could absolutely destroy this push with a proper aircraft push but instead i go right up the middle i don't know what the heck i was doing that is for anti-aircraft i guess i was doing gunning runs but gunning runs over here would have been better would have been a lot better to do gunning runs over here Okay, so some good good grad shots. I think I, I think I saw their M110 firing, and you know we got supply truck stunned. That if we could kill that, like one more hit and it'll go down. Looks like it just got out. Not a not a bad grad shot, not bad at all. But over here, I mean. That's completely lost, except they haven't brought up a CV to actually take that zone, which is interesting. But AI doing an okay job. Really, I would like that to be positioned in the trees over there. Same with the Milan. Maybe the Milan, like, over here or so, in case I push down this road. Really, the best push, though, would be this way for me, so if that Milan was... You know, over here that would be better, but leading with the Milan, not a great idea. However, it might get a cheeky shot on a T80 BV if I'm not careful because right about... Oh no, okay, that does block line of sight. Interesting that that would block line of sight over there. Uh, Fliegerfaust that far forward, rather interesting too. Looks like I've lost a lot of T80s. Oh no, they've they've all been hit. Really need to get the command T80 out of there. And looks like I'm going to lose that to the gazelle. I don't have any assets. I need to move Iglas like all the Iglas up. That gazelle is just obliterating my T80s, so. Yeah, very unfortunate. Need to just plaster this zone with Iglas. You can see I'm starting to move them up, but. Not good enough. Really need the Strela over here. This Strela is a little too far... A little too far away, so rather unfortunate. But this battle's over. They... If they brought a CV over here, they could have, you know, delayed it a little bit longer. But at a plus two, no CV in sight. And they're just kind of like pushing over here. And looks like our artillery... What is firing it? Oh yeah, it is the artillery. Um... Okay, so here you can see... <laughs> Good idea in theory. I didn't know there wasn't anything here. But the idea was to grad strike this area. And then have an infantry push. Um... 
However, there's no infantry push to be found with the grad strike, so really what I should have done was I believe you can target this area, put them on return fire, and then they'll target the area, and then as soon as they're done targeting and you want to fire, you can unclick the return fire, which uh, is Z, I believe, as your keyboard command, and then they'll immediately fire so you don't have to wait for them to target because uh, if you notice, like, a lot of things are there's like a target timer. Uh, or there's also a reload timer, but with artillery, it's a lot of targeting. So they're depleted. They're kind of useless at the moment. I think if I were to use grads in the future properly, you need a forward operating base. And there is the victory. But what I was going to say is you need a forward operating base so you can um, like run them back to the forward operating base, resupply, bring them back in, shoot. Because they just take too many resources otherwise. But we're getting a lot better, 3 to 3.41 to 1 kill ratio. Uh, as I said, very passive game for me. Still very much learning what to do. Uh, BMP1's at the beginning doing some amazing work. Same with that Conquers. I mean, this Conquers just... What is that? 5 M48 kills? Absolutely devastating. And then this BMP1 getting M48s. A lot of their 20 millimeter. What are those, like called Vulcans or something, the the 20 millimeter autocannons, they're anti-aircraft, so I think it's a Vulcan. And then Iglas, this Igla, just absolutely destroying those gazelles. I guess those are recon for the territorial commandos. MI-24 getting some good work in BMPs, really good. This T-80, absolutely devastating. I mean, M-48's just... They, they don't compare to T-80s at all, as I said. M-60s don't compare to T-80s, so we really need M-1A1s to, to go up against the T-80s for sure. Um, so not too shabby as far as stuff that we lost. But does it not show? Oh, there we go. Chronology losses. So their artillery did the best. Oh, it was the artillery piece that took out that helo. It must have must have spotted where it landed and got a nice shot off while it was resupplying. I was wondering what killed that, but yep. So we'll continue doing short little battles like these. I, I really like them because they don't take long to record. I love the replay feature in Morno and just helps me get back into the groove of things. And you can see sort of the progression uh, of me as a player growing in this game. I, I think the next one might be a 10v10 multiplayer or it might be uh, 2v2 with Sir Jellybean and myself facing a very hard AI, but um, all, all of those will come out in the future. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube jazz. And as always, guys, until next time.